Hi guys, it's Abzar Apps here today, bringing you a new FIFA 13 video. Today it's going to be the demo, and at the start here I've got the intro to the demo, whether it will say the same for the uh, actual game, we'll have to see, but when it gets on to the, onto the next bit, it's a bit different I suppose, at this bit, not the best, <laughs> I must say I did like FIFA 12. Um, his intro that's an okay intro but they might change it we don't know yet because it's the demo so I'm just going to be playing one match I'm going to be Man City v Arsenal as you'll see and you'll actually see a bit of a skill game uh, so I'll just show you the features this is the menu we've got all my team there seasons which is head to head season I think Xbox Live career mode uh, pro clubs it doesn't let you on them but if you go on them, you can read about stuff. And then they've got your skill games. It doesn't let you on any skill games apart from I think it's only bronze skill. Just to look what you get when you start a game. As you see, just explaining everything. If you want to read about that, you go back and pause it. So you see, I'm going to beat Man City. I'm going to play Arsenal. Uh, it's one of my first games. So we'll see how we do. Uh, we'll just go through the ratings now. Um, I'm pretty sure the green arrows, not the rating from FIFA 12. It means that they that how they're doing in that match week. If they did well, they'll go up a rating, um, and if they did bad, they'll go down one. So that's the team I'm going with. Um, I'm just leaving Balotelli on the bench for now. Um, I won't bring him on because you don't really have time because it's three minutes a half. So who have a bronze shooting? Let's just be an aim with the left stick. Uh, so you got B to shoot, and I've got Aguero that so managed to hit the bottom left one with his left foot, um, just underneath the top left one, and then managed to hit it. And you only need, I think, two and a half thousand for getting the bronze target. As you see, I've already beat that, uh, and then I made three thousand, and then I've got two attempts to hit this one. And hit it, oh sorry, you have to get 5,000 for the bronze, but you get a time bonus, and there we go, I've got 6,000 on that. So that's really good. I'm just going to show you the intro um, and tell you about the skill games. So there's going to be eight skill games in total on, at the minute. Whether they go to change that, I'm not sure, but um, they probably won't. There's crossing. Uh, Advanced shooting, shooting, penalties, free kicks, everything like passing. And basically, they have bronze, silver, gold, and skill challenge. Basically, the bronze is not manual control, silver is not manual con controls, and gold is. So, gold and the skill challenge are some of the harder ones. You have to use manual. So they say you're shooting, no, say you're crossing, you've got to use your left analogue stick to aim where you're going to cross. Because if you don't, the ball is going straight in front of you and you won't get any points. Because the minute I've done the crossing, advanced shooting and lob pass, bronze ones. The crossing one's easy, the bronze one is. Uh, the lob pass isn't so easy. But... I think they're going to be a really good feature. If you're new to FIFA, it's going to help you. If you're not, then you can just play them for a bit of fun, competition, and go for them high scores. I know KSI's already got the uh, top dribbling one, I think it is. Um, not many people could beat that. So, maybe. <laughs> So we're going to kick off now, um, sorry about that, it's just uh, the first touch control at the minute is okay as you see there, straight away I get through, I don't know why I took that with his weak foot and no, answer he did, but if he took that with his right I think I might have been scoring that. Um, first touch control as you see it's very unpredictable, like, the, like what they want to do, make it unpredictable. 
And so as you see there, the defender lost it. I won it, went through. Um, but sometimes first clutch control, I, well, I can pretty much guarantee it's probably going to get pretty annoying. Um, like your top players, if they run onto the ball, their touch would be horrible. But Man City on this game felt really, really strong. And off the start, I got really, really unlucky. Sorry, not off the start, but 15 minutes into the game, hit the crossbar with a weak foot volley from Sergio Aguero from a ball over the top. And it just hit the, well, the joint of the bar and the crossbar. So, my thoughts of FIFA 30 at the minute, having played a couple of games, haven't really played it much, I'll have another go after this commentary. Uh, I might bring you some skill games, guys, if I can get the footage, because I'll just restart it and then film it, so I'll probably do that. Um, also, yeah, so my thoughts on FIFA 13. At the minute, well, yeah, at the minute, I don't particularly like it, but it's going to take a whole lot of getting used to, because of all the new features, like I said, the first touch control, attacking AI, everything so you see that i scored my first goal as well Sergio Aguero it's a really nice shot into the bottom corner um so yeah it's gonna take up more well a hell of a lot of getting used to um i think you know because it's a big step up from fifa 12 with the new features uh gameplay this year it's not about pace. If you're going to go on to Ultimate Team and you're going to buy a bond hall, just don't do it. <laughs> this year it's not going to be about pace. You need the people with the likes of Perlo, Iniesta and all that. And like get them on career mode and you can pass it really, really well. Um, and also they're They've knocked down the amount of five star skillers um, by a lot, um, which is, I well, quite good in a way because it makes a five star skiller rare and it's quite hard to maybe get them. They might be going for a bit more an ultimate team with being having the five star skills. Like probably Neymar would have five star skills. And they've actually given him a proper face along with Oxley Chamberlain. So that's my thoughts. Uh, tell me what you think of the game. If you played the demo, just tell me what you thought of it. If you liked it, um, you see the half time stats and everything just stayed the same. So if you've liked playing FIFA 13 demo so far, just leave it in the comments saying, yeah, I like playing it. And tell me what you think about the new features. Um, I think what they've done with the menu, uh, the main menu on FIFA 13 is good as well. Um, uh, I just can't wait to play in the full game. So like the pro clubs, um, skill games, try and get through them. I think you're going to get a lot of achievements for completing skill games. Uh, I think I saw an achievement list. Well, I can't remember, but there's like one with bronzed and I think that so like you have to complete a couple of bronze you get an achievement I think you just get quite a lot of achievements for completing the um, challenges and as you see we went 2-0 up there um, I can't remember who's scoring I couldn't quite see it there but Arsenal uh, they're not like so if you're not used to FIFA 13 in the demo play against Arsenal uh, haven't played with Arsenal yet. Um, I've heard that Juventus are quite a good team with because they, even though they don't have Elia anymore, they've still got some very very good players in their team. Obviously, with AC Milan, without Ibra, without Thiago Silva, they brought in Nigel De Jong, but he's not on there yet because he's still at Man City. And Van Persie's at Arsenal. Uh, on the demo so obviously that's going to have to be changed they've probably already done it but we should have to see um, 
also uh, Borussia Dortmund are on this demo. I think that might be it. And I haven't really gone through the teams list. Juventus, AC Milan, Borussia Dortmund, and Rack Hagler, but they still they managed to keep hold of Lewandowski. That could be a good move for them. Um, so Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan, Man City, Arsenal, and I think, I think that might be it. There's no Real Madrid or Barcelona, okay. probably because they don't want to see Messi, Ronaldo, and the rest of the team because it's going to be that good or something. Um, but they've always been on the other demo, so I'm not too sure. So, yeah. So, in your first game, uh, just let me know in the comments how you got on, what your first, first result was, sorry. Mine was 1-0 against Arsenal again at Man City. So then I had one game and I recorded it. Um, it was... Uh, as you see there, also, um, in the minute... And the commentators were talking about uh, how the speculation around Carlos Tevez was going on and was he going to move, was he not? And they were talking about that. Um, so, and then it has like a little bar at the top and it tells you like if they're like the sort of inform player I think it is in their team, like a player who's doing really well. Like early I think it said Abu Dhabi for Arsenal. They just then it said about Carlos Tevez and how well he's doing. Uh, they do that, and they're really looking towards the end. It's getting on close to, well, in the 90th minute. They were just having so many chances, and eventually their goalkeeper came up. It's still two now. I just well, they have a nice <laughs> side volley, but I save it. Joe Hart kicks it up, and I couldn't quite get the header away with there with Aguero. And uh, Nazar, I don't know what he was doing, <laughs> he was just being an absolute fart, just standing there doing nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, uh, it's my first game on FIFA 13, my first video on FIFA 13, and it definitely won't be my last. Um, so there you see the players ratings, also something been added in, I just saw player ratings. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, like and subscribe, and remember to comment on what your result was and how you think of the game.